Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the new changes that came with the new Roblox Studio released only a few days ago. It's called Roblox Studio 2013. Um, I'm guessing they'll change the name later on to just Roblox Studio or maybe Roblox T Studio 2.0. But that doesn't matter right now. So, I've set up my workspace, I guess you could call it, or uh, my preferences, where I want the windows to be and such, to be just about the same as it used to be. I have nothing new really to show you except that if I were to select workspace right now, I can now search through the properties, say for name, which is very nice. It's going to help make the tutorials much more fluid, um, and it's hopefully going to make your life much quicker if you can remember the name of the value. Or, sorry, the property. Uh, workspace hasn't changed much, except now you've got this. Um, there is something I really want to show you guys, but I'm not going to show you yet. I'm going to move this GUI to lighting right now, and I'm not going to discuss what that does. Um, I'm going to show you guys what these new tools can do. So, these are the same tools we used to have, but I'm going to go over here and change this brick color which by the way there's a new brick color thing it's slightly different I'm going to change it to blue so now that this is blue I'm going to go up here see up here I'm going to grab this resize okay now you have to look for a button that is a collision it's called collision check and it looks like that collision check I'm going to turn off right, or I'm going to keep that on right now, and I'm going to try to resize this brick past here. As you can see, that's just not possible. Now, if I shut this off, watch, it's resizing through it. I can also use this move tool and move stuff through each other. So it's great. You no longer, sorry, Crazy Man 32, if you ever watch this, you no longer need a bunch of fancy tools to do some C-framing things. Now crazy, your C-frame plugin is still great for rotation, but I don't need you for positioning anymore. Doesn't mean I won't use this plugin for positioning. I'm used to it more than I am this, but still. Now that's a pretty cool trick. I'm going to turn this back on now. Uh, the anchor actually hasn't uh, hasn't icon that makes sense instead of a couple lines it's actually an anchor now so that makes much more sense um you'll even some of you might have done, tried doing this before in tools you had the uh, plugins folder you don't have that now and you can still put plugins in you just go in fact I'll show you guys real quick as I go back here don't know how well, you guys can see that. Okay, you guys can't really see that. Let me fix that. Watch. Boom. Alright, now you guys should be able to see me hovering over this. Eh, you might have, might have not. Hopefully you could. Um, and all you gotta do is go to App Data. Go out of Roaming, into Local. Go to Roblox, and here's the plugins. You can put your plugins in here, and then reset Roblox Studio, and it will work. No, I have not gone over plugins yet in the actual tutorial series. This episode is just supposed to be devoted to the new Roblox Studio, and I'm not really... This isn't counting as an official part of the series. I'll probably put it at the very beginning. You'll notice it doesn't even have an episode number. So, that's all really cool up there. I like this too. So, we see a lot of stuff that's familiar, might have a new icon, but it does the same thing. But, there's something I really want to show you guys. And that is the new script editor. Did that just... Okay. So, let's go in. Looks pretty much the same as it used to, right? Kind of like... Okay, what's so cool here? Uh, well, I'll show you. Let, 
let's just make an if. I'm, I think, yeah, I went over ifs already. So it used to be if I were to type if true then and made a quick end here, I would have to press tab however many times so that I could stay aligned. And that would be really annoying if you had a lot of tabs to press every time you had to make a new line. Roblox no longer requires that, it auto tabs for you, auto indents. And that is probably my favorite feature. Yeah, my favorite feature. Second would be the uh, collision checking. But that's probably my favorite feature about Roblox Studio 2013. Now, you'll also notice line wrapping, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Line wrapping has been added to Roblox Studios script editor. This may be a good thing or a bad thing, closer to my opinion, as you can see, but it is here nonetheless now that's great right there um cool i don't know what the heck this red is for unexpected symbols unexpected like how this oh shoot oh delete no. Oh well, I don't exactly know what the problem here is, but it doesn't really matter right now either. Thankfully, it is giving me an error before I run it, and that's going to be really helpful as well. So, I actually hadn't seen that yet. Um, but the big, big thing here is um, line wrapping is what I was going over. Sorry, this whole red line is really distracting me. So line wrapping, as I said as I was typing that, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I don't like it because it just makes it slightly harder to read, in my opinion. And I would much more prefer to have it just in one line. And right now, I have not found a way to change the line wrapping to take that off. If you find a way, please comment below. Hopefully, I will read your... Well, I will read your comment. Not hopefully. I will read your comment and I will thumbs up and probably give you a shout out if you can tell me how to shut oh, shut line wrapping off. But if none of you give me an idea on how to do it before I find out, deal's off. Uh, I'll probably still thumbs up your comment though. So now that I've kind of gone over script uh, editor, the script editor now, which is much improved. Um, there's only one real problem here, and that's that the cursor flashes a lot now. That's, that's one of my big problems with it, is that if I right click, it'll flash. Or if I hover over here, it'll flash rather than just smoothly change like it used to. But, um, this is a very early release. I'm v pretty sure they're going to be upgrading uh, Roblox Studio in the near future. And um, it's turn it started out really great. I really like it. Um, I can't wait to see who won the splash screen contest overall. That'll be really cool to see too. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. Now catch you guys later.